Greetings and welcome to Let's Play Worms of Arcania 3 Shadows over Riva. If you hear some differences in my sound, then it may be because I have a new microphone. Let me know how you like it, if it's good, if it's bad. I have the feeling it's a bit hmm, boomy. You hear a lot of, I don't know, strange things or something. No, it's kind of like, I have the feeling I'm a bit uh, less. I'm a bit um, lower in volume? I don't know. I hope the quality is better. <laughs> Anyways, let us explore the depths of this area. We still have to take care that Sorka doesn't die, because that would suck quite a lot. But we are reaching the endgame soon. Oh. Queen of Headless stops abruptly and points ahead. A Nyx is riding on the back of a three paces long sea Gutschgion, flailing his arms about wildly. The fish appears to be suffering at least as much as Nyx is enjoying himself. The merman is constantly kicking and hitting the animal. Are you going to relieve the pain creature of its tormentor? Of course. You're an asshole. Leave this poor creature alone. If you don't help this thing, then Zora will get pissed again, and yeah. That's the problem. I have to... <clears throat> what I kind of realized with this microphone is I have to breathe more silently, because you can hear the breathing, with, which kind of pisses me off. I haven't found a solution for this yet. This is my first recording with the video, uh, with the microphone, so... Hmm. There's a gigantic breach in the hull of the ship. It would have been more than sufficient to make the vessel go under. But you don't believe it was the cause of the sinking, because the ship has turned upside down. A pair of eyes is staring at you, unblinkingly from the opening. What do you do? Throw something at the eyes. Let's do this. While you are still searching through your equipment for a missile, a, a ball-shaped palm-sized fish with its eyes set wide apart comes swimming out of the opening and leaves. Let's enter, shall we? Ugh. After getting used to the changed lighting, Elanoe is shocked when he sees straight into a horribly distorted face. Demonstrating his amazing presence of mind, Eleanor Wade draws his orc hatchet and decapitates the unknown opponent with a single blow. The author stared at him quite flabbergasted after seeing Eleanor Wade decapitate a rotting wooden statue. After his impressive performance by Eleanor Wade, you have a chance to get a closer look at the giant room. You're looking at one gigantic mess. On sinking, the vessel's entire cargo must have come loose and tumbled every which way, plus some of this superstructure has been pushed into the interior of the ship. Okay, we need to equip our obsidian daggers. Uh, you can keep your staff, it's a magical weapon. <coughs> Yes, and you can hear my mouse clicking. I'm not that happy so far with the microphone, but I will try my best to improve the quality. L like I said, let me know. Hmm? Among the debris, you see a chest crushed open by a fa falling beam. It contains a bag wrapped in canvas. Driven by his avarice, Elanoway makes his way to the bag without any thought to the danger of being crushed by a slipping beam and pulls it free. Good. Hilarion fire. You don't need that. Go up there. Oh, ah. You're standing in front of a gigantic mass of wooden boards, cloths, glass shards, and other debris. Great. Ah, there's the decapitated statue. Here, the horrible wooden statue awaits. By coincidence, Alan Loco looks up. Through the open doors of a locker bolted to the room's floor, he spies another door. Well, how can we get up there? Mm, I wonder. We take off these shoes. I'm not sure if taking off is enough. 
or if you have to throw them away, but let's try taking them off for now. Should be sufficient. And of course, the Korean robot with the fast boots. Uh, why don't I have more boots? Well, the loco is missing the boots, and I don't know why. It does not make sense. Anyways, <coughs> apparently, we, apparently we have to drop them. Drop item. Mm, yes. 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 And yes. Elena will takes off his metal shoes, but without letting them go completely, he ties a small rope on the shoes and places the other end between his teeth, and then releases himself from the shoes. He quickly glides along the wall of the ship up until he reaches the cabin and climbs in. The door on the back wall of the cabinet has a bluish metal cylinder instead of a lock. Following the advice of the Nyx King, Elanoway takes the luminescent wand and puts it in the opening. The door swings open, stays briefly open and swings back. Damn! Elanoway thinks. <laughs> if we go in here, we will be locked in. Do you want to open the door and enter the room behind the cabinet? Yes. Elanoway gives the others a sign to follow him. Up on the surface you get a good hold and then pull the shoes up using the ropes again. Elanoway places the luminescent wand into the opening, the door swings open and before it closes again you slip inside. This room is quite low so you will have to duck, well except me. <laughs> mm, the mess in here is barely less chaotic than inside the large cargo hold you've just left. The water though has a strange reddish color. Okay, that's not good. This must be the only chest that stayed where it was when the ship sank. When Ellen Way pulls at it, the lid and the side walls come off in his hand. On the bottom of the chest that is fastened with large metal hooks, there's a shimmering orange colored glass pyramid. When examining it closely, notice a circular opening on one side. Hmm. I wonder. Do these things belong together? Yes. To put a glow stick into the round recess on the glass pyramid. Suddenly the water begins to boil and both items radiate a harsh white light. Finally things calm down and the two glass objects are glowing with a greenish light. Greenish light? Hmm. Oh. Orange, green. Yes. Ah. Yes. Let's go in. When El Loco enters the room, something bulky drops down on top of him and knocks him down. When El Loco sees the remarkably well-preserved remains of an even starred deckhand in his arms, his face, his face turns the color of grits. Hurriedly, he scrambles away. With a worried expression, Sorka hurries to his side and pulls his head to her chest. Thus comforted, the color quickly returns to Elden Loco's face. Disgusted, Elden Loco stares at the bloated corpses until he is quite sure they are just dead bodies and not some flesh-eating undead. Lovely. Ugh. Yep. Sucks to be you guys. There's a bone in there. Great. <laughs> what do we have here? The chest lock offers no more resistance. You flip the lid open and find a lot of charts. There are also some intact files. Don't need, don't need, don't need, don't need, don't need. Okay. Cool. I I'm, I'm glad we had this chest. Looking at the guard's bunk, Queen of Headless starts fantasizing again, and this time your fantasies make her turn beet red. Okay! Oh, there's a bird! Yes. Purple orange colored light. Oh, 
Warlock Dice has barely pushed his stick into the opening when the door swings back. Do you want to go through? Yes. A large chest surrounded by a green glow is standing in the center of the otherwise empty room. You have no doubt this is where the wand must be hidden. Even though you have finally reached the goal of your quest, you approach the chest warily. Then you notice the water inside the room lowering and a figure apparently made entirely of water rising from it. More and more like figures join in, join it. Not enough with that, one of them speaks to you. You have come to take the wand, it says. Go ahead and try. Know the water elementals and close the chest in walls of ice. Then they move towards you. Are you going to take any countermeasures? Uh, yes. <laughs> I, I would like to take countermeasures. This is the biggest pile of bullshit this game throws at you. Because if you haven't prepared and got some magical weapons or have enough magic users, you have quite a hard time getting past these things. Cast for Minikus. You can cast for Minikus. You should be able to cast on it. Or not. And of course we have to make sure that she doesn't die. So I'm going to block her in. I hope that works. Uh, Domination Evil. No, not Evil. Domination Dance. Let's. <laughs> dance, Water Elemental, dance. You stay where you are, and Victorian Robot is allowed to move forward. You cannot reach the target square. Great! And move over there. Victorian Robot does quite a lot of damage. Holy. Where are you coming from? Uh, let's... Elden Loco, you are allowed to follow her. <coughs> Cast spell combat lightning. Yeah, he blocks the way. Very good. Uh, you move over there. God. God. Attack. I kind of wish they would do more damage now. <laughs> you did so much at the beginning, why not now? Great. God, God. Attack. The attack failed. Are oh, obsidian daggers not magical? Great. This fight was the main reason I took so many casters with my, in my group. Elder Loco fumbles. Great. Uh, oh well, we'll just let everything dance that comes in our way. Combat for Minikus. I know it's dead. Are there even more coming? I don't like this at all. Domination dance. Uh. Okay, uh, oh, can stand. Here in cast dance. Uh, God. Oops. Uh, cast spell domination dance. Delta. Sorry, the spell failed. Great. Let us stand here. Nothing. 
lightning to the blind beast. Ooh, the Kaida. There's one year server, I don't like this. Oh. Uh, this is blocking my pass. It is blocking my pass. God. Cast spell Domination Evil Eye. I have no idea if you can actually charm these things. I still have to get past these. I'm not fighting. Killing them. Um you move on. You can't reach this. Wait! God. You move over here and block this thing. You cast dance on this. Delta. Why is this spell failing all of a sudden? No one I really need it. Oh, it's failing. Sorry. So, the film robot slips past this guy. And the loco just attacks him. Oh, then let's cast Ooh, lightning. At least that is working. Wait a second, Elden Loco does have a magical weapon. His two-handed sword is magical. Oh, I will... I shall use this change weapon two-handed sword. Attack the thing. Yeah. Uh, you uh, sneak past it and support Victorian robot. Of course, I parry in every attack that I do. Great! Huh. Was it just moving one space? Combat lightning. Full men Stop attacking this thing. Oh, you know what? Fuck this. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Oh, great. <sighs> if she dies, it's Woman. over. You move past behind her and heal her. What? Her weapon is magical? Why? She's useless. over here and hope this thing is moving faster. No! Mm. Uh, let's see if I can still do it. <coughs> Useless. Ah. God. Twenty-four damage! Ow! Golden Loco is walling. <clears throat> Move. 